guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a deep dive in makeup time and this is going to be episode number two. I want to show you guys real quickly the nails I am wearing for this binge film sesh. I really, really enjoy them. I really like the matte black with the glossy black and the diamonds. I think that this just adds something a little spectacular and I like the black because we are close to Halloween. Black is my favorite color and these just like add a little bit extra for me. These are Prevons. These are the Kiss Impress Press On Manicure Couture Collection. These are in the 79982 style. If you want to buy them for yourself, just look at how gorgeous. Oh, look how gorgeous. Ready because we have a family thing we are doing in a couple of hours. So I really want to fix this face up. But yeah, this is the nails I will be wearing for this bench film session. I'm so excited. These are like perfect size too. Like they're not too long. They're honestly like look like so natural nail. I like it. Okay, so I have a lot of notes on drama again too. I researched from Smoky Glow and Angelica Oles' two videos. I will link in the description box if I forget to. I have no problem giving credit where credit is due. Just remind me politely and I will fix that. Anyways, let's get into it. The previous episode that we did with the five contestants, I guess you can say, in Dramageddon 1, Manny and Laura were absent from Dramageddon 2, this drama. However, Nikita, Gabriel, and G Jeffrey Starr all played roles in this drama we are going to speak about. Go back in time to Dramageddon 1, the first episode, because it kind of ties in a little bit with this first part, because I really want, to, I really think that, like, it's important to kind of have the context. So Tati and James had been absent from the first drama again, and James had actually made a public tweet saying that he was Switzerland, so that he was trying to remain in control. For the first time today, it's the Wolf Prime Eye Base. The shade Space White. I have a funny, funny, funny feeling I used too much. Anyways, but since the beginning of James Charles's career, and even to now, he has always been revolved in drama. And summing up the dramas, you know, we have the Ebola scandal. Uh, the Ebola scandal is the one I really remember. But we also have, you know, the drama with Marlena. So, which was horrible. <laughs> um, there's also a drama he had with Thomas Halbert, where he had faked the viral photo that had go famous which was like he had brought his ring ring light so that way he could like look extra for his high school photo and apparently everybody believed it but it's kind of like what school do y'all go to that would allow you to bring a ring light for your photos <laughs> tell me this now because this does actually come into play in this drama drama as well as a future episode that i really want to do that i'm actually working on a script for which I'm currently working on the James Charles script. So, James's content was actually really geared towards teens and tweens. Content had been geared towards teens and tweens. Tati's was the opposite of James. Her reputation was very well respected, and it was just like honestly the complete opposite of James Charles's reputation. I was not a fan of James Charles as I never watched his videos. I just didn't jive with him, but I jive with Tati. I've said it before in other videos that my sister actually really connected very well with Tati because their ages were very, very similar. Tati was having issues getting pregnant, and my sister had dealt with seven years of infertility to get pregnant. So, like, she just really jived well with Tati. So, we watched a lot of Tati content together. So while I was subscribed to Tati, I wasn't subscribed to James Charles, even though like, I don't think his content really was geared towards me anyways, because I was going out of my teenage years. So at that time I was 21 and like I said, I just wasn't, I, I didn't jive with James Charles. So now we're kind of getting into the start of the drama since you have a little bit of backstory but like this drama is just like it's like it's so it's captivating and it's confusing at the same time there's just so so much and it just like it's a roller coaster really so 
started. Tati was in no drama. Let's cite it was around the launch of the Halo Beauty, which questioned people, and James Charles's sister tour, which also questioned people because it was super expensive. It was eventually, the sister tour had been eventually changed, so a meet and group was included, but originally he was charging like $500, if I remember correctly, just to meet him. I wasn't interested in the sister tour, but I remember, I remember the drama videos that popped up because let's be completely real, the beauty drama community really, really popped off in 2019. And it's definitely died down a lot, but it's, it definitely popped up. We are at a month before the drama and Tati was writing a high from her Halo Beauty launch and James Charles was in drama for his sister's four prices is that people were already predestined to kind of be a little angry with James Charles because of the sisters tour and people were just irked with the $500 meeting price. $500 price. People were, you know, they were feeling that James Charles was getting a little bit of a big head and I literally wrote in my side notes, duh, James Charles has a big head now. Like, come on. Even after all this, man thinks he's un. We are citing the Marlena Charles, the Marlena Estelle and James Charles situation. We're citing it here because it happened around this time. Um, Netflix was working on a document. Like the document is out, like the documentary is out, and it really wasn't about like what like James Charles had thought it was. It was really about the dangers of like counterfeit makeup, which James Charles would not have been able to have provided Netflix because he wasn't a brand owner at the time. And that was why they had asked Marlena because she was an influencer and a brand owner. And I think that James Charles had actually thought that this was like, I think that James Charles thought it was something else. And basically like Marlena had came out with that one video where she was saying that influencers are charging like $50 for a positive review. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say my personal opinion is it was James Charles that was charging that. He freaked the hell out and caused all this drama when he seen that coming out was because he thought Marlena was going to expose him. And if it was him, I hope Marlena does expose him. Here is that James Charles and Morphe had came out with their James Charles X Morphe palette a few months prior. I remember when this palette came out, everybody wanted it except for me. I didn't want it. I wanted a Morphe palette, but I just did not like James Charles, and I was not into color like that. I think Jackson just whacked Ty in the face. Or Patty, hang on. I need to explain myself. I'm not a bad mom for laughing. Kai is a bully to Jackson, and I'm waiting for Jackson to whack him back. And he's been slowly doing it, so. Kai's been getting his back, his payback. Jeffree Star was currently filming another series with Shane Dawson called the Conspiracy Series. And Je Jeffree's reputation at this time was coming out of the first drama successful. So that is it. That is what James Charles is going up against. My opinion was the Tati and Jeffree Star versus James Charles. And we're citing that it was heav stacked heavily in Tati and Jeffree Star's favor due to the public opinion and their reputations. So while we're getting into it, I just wanted to give a little bit of backstory, I guess you could say. I wanted to give a little bit of like how people were feeling and why. To the timeline, we're gonna go ahead and cite the James Charles and Gage Gomez drama of Weekend One of Coachella because that plays a part for some reason drama because it plays a part so due to that James Charles and his friends had decided last minute to go to weekend two of Coachella however James was only able to secure VIP tickets which are available to the public for like a ridiculous amount I think it was like a thousand dollars so it was like a ridiculous amount note to myself to cite the difference between VIP and um artist passes so VIP tickets are available, again, to the public. You, if you have, you know, an, an, enough money, people probably use their tax returns on that shit or they saved up, like, all year long for that crap. 
um, you can get a VIP pass or you can be like an influencer or I believe Smokey Lowe said like Billie Eilish is best friend and she can get you an artist pass. James claimed he was getting mobbed in VIP, which I'm just going to be honest here. If he was in VIP, I kind of believe that he was one of the biggest influencers at the time. And enter into the situation of Drama Again 2, Nikita Dragon interfered. And we are going to cite the text that Nikita released in support of James Charles. So Nikita said that James was getting mobbed in VIP. He asked for her Sugar Bay hair contact. He said that he would sign because she had gone with Sugar Bay hair. He would do, you know, a, you know, he would do an ad, he'll do an ad, he'd sponsor them, whatever, or they'd sponsor him, whatever. He would do an ad on, he would do an ad uh, if they could get him an artist pass. And let's just say Sugar Bay Hair comes in later, but I'm not blaming Sugar Bay Hair because James Charles, again, was one of the biggest influencers at the time. It was probably really good for them to get that opportunity. Contract then and there with Sugar Bay Hair to get the artist pass have anything viable to report after that. So the Monday after James Charles posts his story with the Sugar Bay hair ad, it was for melatonin gummies, which um, melatonin is actually like what I use for me um, to help me sleep. Remember this come, came up, but I don't remember if I wrote it in my notes, that Tati had said that he only had like seven days to try the gummies, so he wasn't actually able to test out if they really worked or not. But, I mean, I'm iffy with that because they're melatonin gummies. As long as there's a high enough concentrate with melatonin, they're going to knock you out. So let me go ahead and just give you a little bit of a science class right now. Melatonin is what your body produces whenever you go to sleep. So if you're putting the melatonin in your body, they're going to it's going to tell your body it's time to go to sleep. I actually think he was doing a ad for like the anxiety gummies, which is what she was saying. She, he couldn't test out long enough to see if they helped. I mean, honestly, if you have anxiety, you should see a therapist probably. I do. I'm just going to say all of these people in this are horrible people. And this shouldn't have been hatched out online. I'm just saying. Despite the melatonin and anxiety gummies that James had sponsored and that they are different to Tati's Halo Beauty hair, skin, and nails vitamins, she has just hair, skin, and nails vitamins. She didn't actually have, like, direct melatonin or anxiety gummies, but Sugar Bear Hair actually did have, um hair, skin, and nails vitamins, so they were direct competition to Tati, and Tati had even said in her launch video that she didn't want sugar in her vitamins, which I feel is a complete call out to Sugar Bear Hair. Like, I'm just being completely honest. According to Tati, James didn't text her until after he put the story up. According to James, he texted her before the story went live, Based on the text that James shows in his video that we will be talking about later where he was doing damage control and not caring about his friends. Um, we're citing Tati's video here because she made the Bye Sister video. And then she made Why I Did It, which they're both gone from Tati's channel, but you can actually, you can still look, you can still look them up. You can still watch them. Thing, but James did show the video, the the screenshots in his video, the No More Lies video, and he was able to prove that they did actually, in fact, go up before. I texted her before the ad went up. Now we are getting to the start of Bye Sister. Tati, after James's ad goes live, Tati posts a Instagram live video or whatever. She posts the Instagram stories. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not social media savvy. And she was crying in it where she said she felt betrayed. I remember seeing dramas made about that and how it was speculated that it was James Charles because he had did an ad for Sugar Bear Hair. I want to go ahead and put this here because I want this information out there. If you're watching this video, 
to recite the history of Dramagen too, because I do think that this is actually important information. Tati didn't want to sponsor other YouTubers using her products, but she also didn't want her YouTube brands getting sponsors from her competitors, which is kind of like really shitty when you think about it. Right, what I just said. Tati did not want her YouTube friends getting sponsorships from her competitors, but she didn't want to sponsor her YouTube friends either for using her products. However, Tati had given unfavorable reviews to other influencer collabs and products which indirectly hurt their sales, cite Emily, Noel, and Makeup Revolution. And that little drama we have with Kiki Chanel, it's pretty easy for people and obviously the drama community to piece together that it was, in fact, James Charles who had made Tati feel betrayed with his Sugar Bay Hair sponsorship. And I mean, at this time, people were like, really really loyal like the youtube fan base like they were loyal and i don't even think that like people have been able to reach the heights of like loyalty for followers since 2019 with like the tati the james and the jeffree star because like yeah we there are some people who still stand some of these people but this was like hordes, like cults that were freaking doing this shit. In the scenes was that James had tried to reach out to Tati and Tati's husband, James Westbrook. That might get confusing, but they had not answered him. So take the hint, read the room, and like give her some time. James's first apology came out in a form of written content on Instagram, and he didn't mention Halo Beauty, and people were saying that he didn't mention Halo Beauty because of his contract with Sugar Bay Air, and I honestly forgot that he actually did apologize to her in a written, like, context on Instagram. I don't think that that was enough, but I also don't think that, like, it's just not something that the public should have, ha like, known. Like, we should not have seen this play out. Let's just be honest wasn't that big of a drama. Like, James took a sponsorship with Sugar Bear Hair and Tati felt betrayed. It wasn't that big of a drama. Let's just be honest. He was at the time, due to all of James Charles's previous scandals, it did end up blowing up a little bit bigger than what it would have had he not had those previous, you know, Ebola scandal, the, you know, the fake Photoshop stuff. It's just stupid shit. After this drama, James was going to Australia and he was doing some press tours and some meet and greets. So that is actually important, I think, to note is that he was in Australia when My Sister dropped. So as James Charles was on the plane, Tati had posted My Sister. Cite what I just said. He was, he didn't have access to a phone, so it was able to fester. And he wasn't really able to, you know, reply he remembers where she was when the video itself was posted and I was actually in Brandon and Anna's apartment at the time and in I believe it was their kitchen when it when it dropped and I was like oh I'll watch it when I got home and I watched it when I got home and I was like okay wow I didn't really care about James Charles so I, 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 I didn't care we still have like probably more than half of this video to go. Everybody had collectively agreed, I think at the time and to now, that the motivation behind Tati posting by sitter by sister had been her being upset at James Charles for posting the ad with another vitamin company. And you know, I'm gonna go ahead and cite it here. Uh Smokey Glow's video talking about internet history and drama again too. She does do a very good comparison of this with, you know, the merge and competition and she cites how like her friends wear her merch, but she can't tell them that they can't wear another YouTuber's merch because that would be her competition. And like, I definitely think that she did a really good job explaining that. I did cite in this Vice Sister video that James Charles had trashed Sugar Bear Hair and the influencers that take their deals. Um, I mean, I don't know why this was something that she had to say because I think like James Charles is fake. Let's just be fake. He's like Jacqueline Hill, he don't care, he just wants your fucking money. 
So, no, wait. No, no. Of course. Of course he wouldn't care about, you know, the product and his fans. Like, of course he didn't care. Buffy had stated that she wasn't sending out PR for Halo Beauty and that she felt that the product was good enough that it would speak for itself. And oh my God. Back then, I thought, like, oh, that is so cool, Tati. But now I'm looking back at it, and I'm like, that is so much gaslighting from Tati. Like, I don't need to send out PR. My product is good enough on its own. It's better than yours. So you should not be supporting them. Like, oh, my God. Like, I've watched some old Tati videos because I just wanted to feel the old YouTube content. And let's just be, I, I need to be honest. When she talks about her reputation, which we're going to talk about later, maybe even in another video, I might do a talk to you episode. Who knows? It's so manipulative and gaslighting. And, like, you don't even see it until, like, now when you realize everything. But she was old enough to really know how to say her words to manipulate her fan base videos from time to time even now they don't hit like they used to but I do still watch them so now Gabriel Zamora enters the picture as he made a video calling out Tati in defense of James Charles and Tati at the beginning of the Bi Sister video included a clip of Gabriel Zamora and said she was going to listen to Gabriel and call James out directly and we're going to talk about this. Gabriel Zamora had stated that their relationship was transactional, and Tati states that it was only transactional on James's side. Tati said that her husband had helped James get a better deal with his Morphe palette. Basically, Tati was always helping, and she was always giving to James Charles, and she never received anything back, which, how is it transactional? That's not transactional. That's he was using her. Um, by sister. Now we are gonna be breaking down some parts of by sister. I have watched by sister so 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 many times because I was just so intrigued at the time. She felt like behind the scenes James was dragging her through the mud despite apologizing to her face so she felt like he was fake, fake there because he apologized to her face for dragging her behind her back. She felt she had heard things from a lot of different people that he was talking bad about her. She knew he had been in the DMs of multiple drama channels, getting his side of the story across. Basically, she stated that this was damage control mode. Instead of trying to repair the genuine friendship that she thought that they had. Which, again, like, I even said that. Like, it just didn't seem like he... I don't really think that he cared. I think he got what he wanted from Tati. He didn't want the drama. And I do think that Tati also used it to her advantage, I guess you could say. But Tati says that she had gotten James, style, James Charles signed to Style Hall to help him make money on his YouTube videos as no one wanted to work with him after his Ebola scandal. I can see that. Sister video that James Charles had gotten a really big ego and was surrounded by yes men. She said she was trying to help him with, his, with this. However, she felt that he was at a point where he could no longer be helped and that's why she made the video. So remember this. So she said that James Charles had assumed that Shane Dawson was involved in the Bi Sister video, and Tati says that Shane had nothing to do with this. Tati, like, let's let it here. Tati later claims that, and also cites personal opinion on was there between the drama between Shane and James that alerted him to maybe a scandal coming against James orchestrated by James. Charles. So basically, I have a personal opinion that because James had thought Shane was involved, there was some drama going on between Shane Dawson and James Charles. And Tati does later claim that difference, like, Tati just claims a lot. It's, Tati can't keep her story straight. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to tell you guys something. Clark Swanson should have won the lawsuit because in Tati's Halo launch video, she claims that Halo is going to be her umbrella brand, which is what Clark Swanson claimed. And it came out of Tati's mouth. So I think that Clark Swanson was in the right with that. I think that the West replied to him and did steal money from him. But aside from that, Tati had James do her wedding makeup and stated that those memories were now 
painted for her. She even had to help him with getting a suit because he says he didn't have money, which I mean, like, he was like one of the biggest beauty YouTubers out there. Charles when no one else would be there for him due to his scandals and drama again. To be honest, the drama and the scandals probably are like a warning to tell you guys to stay away from this person. I'm not gonna wear my lashes, so I can't believe it. We're done. We're done with my makeup. We're nowhere near done with my script. I don't care that you're on the way home, Mom. So I'm going to be reading from my script. Um, she had called out James Charles for the way he reacted towards Marlena Stell and Netflix, which you should do because he was horrible. She called out James Charles's sexual misconduct and the way he treated young men around him and the way he used his fame in order to attract young men and manipulate them, which if you don't know, he still does that to this day. Tanti had basically confirmed all the things against James Charles that had come out with the Gage Gomez story, plus the waiter from Seattle, enter the waiter from Seattle named Sam. Um, I don't know where he is now. And she also called out James' mom. I just don't think that... I, I put, why? But why? Why? That's his mother. Like, who cares? Boys, I will always defend my kids, even if they are in the wrong. They're my babies. I will defend them but I will discipline them in like off thing where you can't see, but I'm always going to be on my kids' side, no matter what. I also want to say that she talked about why her brand is better than Sugar Bear Hair in this video. Like, why did you feel the need? If your product is so good, why do you feel the need to tell people that your brand is better? I think it's just weird. She talked about how people were saying, what was he supposed to do? He was getting mobbed and Tati answers with leave, go home. She's right. She's like, it'll happen again next year. Bring security next time. She was right about that. She was right. She ends the video by saying that she is ending her friendship with James Charles publicly. And then all hell breaks loose after this video. And it got to the point where something new was literally coming out like every day, like news type things. People came into the beauty community just for this drama, which wasn't a good thing. And it ultimately, people will tell you, this is what killed the beauty community. Was This drama was the start of it, and then Drama Again 3, which will be the next episode, was the finisher. A few hours after Tati's video, my sister video goes live is when James Charles posts the second apology titled Tati. And this apology video was bad. It wasn't the best quality. He was crying. He had no makeup. And he didn't go against anything that Tati said in her video, which led people to believe Tati's video to be true without much proof because he wasn't denying it. Subscribing of James Charles begins and we can't use Social Blade now because of this situation. Tati ended up gaining subscribers. People were live streaming James losing subs and Tati gaining subs on Social Blade. Like that's how ridiculously crazy this drama went. The waiter from Seattle came out and James was supposed to do a massive meet and greet at a mall to the day these videos were posted, there were thousands at the mall waiting for him and James Charles had arrived, I believe two hours late. If you were there, correct me if I am wrong, but I couldn't find exact, like exact how long people waited, but I think it was two hours. What you're waiting for, Jeffree Star enters the picture. Jeffree Star had tweets to Ian, who is James Charles's brother. Why is your brother a predator? Why did you really move back to NYC? Exactly, shut the F up. There is a reason that Nathan Bange banned James Charles from ever coming to, over to our house, home ever again. There's a reason why I haven't seen him since Tati's birthday in February. He is a danger to society. Everything Tati said is 100% true. These are actual tweets Jeffree Star has posted, and there is evidence of them. So yes, J Jeffree Star, you did ruin the beauty community with Tati and James Charles. Even though you want to put it on just them, you did too. Um, every week but the problem that I'm having here is that he has a tendency to rewrite rewrite history just shut the fuck up you're a fucking 40 year old person almost or up to what you did and move on all you gotta say is yeah I did it let's move on and people will accept you obviously because you are honest with your reviews like Jeffree Star and Tati were on the same side saying that James Charles was getting a big head and a big ego which they are right 
But the way they go about it is the problem that I'm having. This is the problem that everybody has with this whole situation is that they were right, but why did you go about it the way you did? The vitamins thing was thrown around to, like, they were thrown around to the side in the grand scheme of things compared to, like, the predator behavior. So it's kind of like it started with vitamins, but then the predatorial behavior was brought up, and then people said, fuck the vitamins. This is what we need to focus on, which good for society. We need to get predators off the street. I got kids. First ever YouTuber to lose 1 million subscribers in less than 24 hours. I wish I could tell you I was a part of that, but I was not subscribed to Jim Charles then, and I'm still not subscribed to him. A lot of young men and boys had started coming forward talking about how they had uncomfortable interactions with James Charles. I don't remember that, but I rem but somebody cited, cited it, so I I'm gonna put it here. If you remember it, let me know in the description or in the comment section. James and Tati were silent while Jeffree Star was still tweeting. So the two main people in this were James Charles and Tati. They were silent in this, and Jeffree Star is just sitting at home stirring the pot. Australia, Tati comes out with the video Why I Did It, which I told you guys earlier is the second video that comes after by Sister. You can still check it out. It's not on Tati's channel, but it is on YouTube still. Why I Did It. Let's break this one down. She didn't know how to call James Charles out without doing it publicly. She didn't know what it would turn into. She apologized to James, saying it wasn't her intention for things to blow up like it did. Tati said she wanted the hate to stop and she didn't expect to gain subscribers as she was going up against somebody who she was feeling was bigger than her. She felt like she was ruining her own career by posting by sister. Snapchat video after Tati's video saying he also didn't anticipate this to blow up like he did. And I put question mark with capital, really? Because Jeffree Star is not stupid. This is probably one of the smartest men alive. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think he can be an asshole, but this man is probably one of the smartest men alive. I'm not gonna lie. He, I think he anticipated it. I think everybody, everybody was, they were calling him a predator. They knew what that was going to blow up into, and they wanted it to blow up. They had good intentions, but also bad intentions. It happened really fast, and I honestly thought it was, like, longer than what it was. But James Charles drops No More Lies. Let's break down No More Lies. This is honestly one of the best YouTuber apologies to date. We have a lot of bad ones. Colleen Ballinger, we're looking at you with that ukulele. Um... James comes through with all the receipts proving he was led on by Sam, but I don't know about Gage. Um, he proved he did text Tati before the ad goes up, but who knows if she saw the text after the ad. That could have been what she meant, because not everybody is always on their phone. So she might have gotten the text and not seen it until after the ad was up. James states he has mentioned Halo Beauty before on his channel without a brand deal attached. He used the fact that he was a 19-year-old virgin as defense, and I have a lot of issues with this because just being a virgin doesn't mean that you're not a predator. It just means you could be a predatory creep. His excuse for DMing people was that he was just trying to be flirty, and he apologized if he made them uncomfortable. He shared screenshots of texts between him and Jeffree Star, and Jeffree was saying a lot of really vile things. Does that really surprise us? Not really. Like I said, this is probably one of the smartest men alive. this because I feel like this is actually extremely important. It's whether it's for Dramageddon 2 or just our society. James Charles made a really good point in this video regarding Zara Larson. Zara had came out before, which is why I didn't mention this, and called James Charles out after Tati's video as he had DM'd her boyfriend. But Zara Larson had literally made a public tweet trying to find a guy in these pictures who ended up becoming her boyfriend. So how is it okay for a straight white woman to do that, but not okay for a gay white man to be in the DMs? Brandon slid into my DMs, so I don't really see a problem. But Zara had taken this guy's picture. She didn't slide into his DMs like James did. James did it in incognito where he slid into the guy's DMs. Zara Larson took this guy's picture and said, who are you? Where do I find you? How do you like your eggs cooked in the morning? Really well organized and had a ton of receipts, screenshots, and evidence. In places he didn't have evidence, he spoke clearly and with a lot of confidence. And I do think that he honestly was wrong yeah. in the situation. He might have did some bad things, but he was wrong in that situation. The tides had changed so fast. People went into this video hating James Charles and being on Tati's side to being on James's side and hating Tati. 
Tati stays silent after this video for a while, but Jeffree Star had a lot to say that James was lying. Nothing in his video was accurate that he had receipts to prove that this wasn't accurate. And let's just cite the Jeffree Star iconically saying that he has dirt on everyone. Uh -huh. People were now waiting what Jeffree Star had to say. Video, never doing this again is dropped. And I actually think this is still um, on his channel. Don't, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure it is. Jeffrey doesn't provide anything in this video, just so that is a reminder for people. He doesn't provide any proof. What Jeffrey Star had stated in this video was that he was done with drama. James was able to gain back almost every subscriber he had lost and then eventually surpassed it. Tati hit 10 million subscribers at one point, but then started going down and has, I think, continuously been going down. Jeffrey Star didn't really see any massive gain and loss in subscribers, which is surprising comes out with a video titled I'm Sorry James Charles stating that he lied about some stuff and clarified it. Uh, we've never heard from him since. Probably a good thing since he's an admitted liar. He concluded that James Charles was the winner. Oh, sorry. We concluded that James Charles was the winner of Drama Again 2. All three did end up taking breaks after this drama, which probably was needed. Tati did have the launch of Tati Beauty, which... Again, if you're curious, I suggest looking up her Halo Beauty, Beauty video where she says this is going to be, the Halo is going to be the umbrella, which is what Clark Swanson said that they were, he was promised by the Westbrooks. So the Westbrooks, I think, did him dirty. Too much about this again until Shane Dawson launched his next docuseries of Jeffree Star and made it out that the drama would play a part in the series. So in the trailer... For the series, it looked like Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson were together when Bye Sister dropped. When the series actually came out, he didn't really talk about it at all. After the outrage, he ended up putting in short snippets of his and Ryland's reaction and Jeffree's reaction to the Bye Sister scandal, but it wasn't anything what people actually wanted to see. Drama again too because we are at 37 minutes and I have a lot to say about Drama again three and Drama again three does try and tie into Drama again two so the next episode of this will kind of be referencing this so I hope you guys enjoyed to like comment subscribe ring the bell and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video bye y'all.